The history of quinine depends on your source, but for Europeans, it is mystically tied to Peru, where a Spanish countess cured her fever by chewing on the bark of a cinchona tree. Quinine became the primary treatment for malaria, and as a result, journeys to Peru and attempts at cultivating the very temperamental cinchona became a common adventure in the 19th century. It is here that Natasha Pulley focuses her story, The Bedlam Stacks. Her hero, Merrick Tremaine, is an ex-East India Company trader, or perhaps smuggler, who, due to a leg injury, is stuck at his family home in Cornwall, England. His convalescence is interrupted, though, as the East India Trading Company is desperate for anyone who can journey into the Amazon in search of Sinshona bark. The mystery and adventure begins before Merrick can even leave his house. As statues start moving, his father's pine trees start exploding, and his brother accuses him of being mad. But Merrick agrees, and accompanied by an old friend, Markham, he journeys to the edge of the Amazon, traveling through snow, forests, and over mountains, in search of a tiny missionary colony where a line of salt on the ground separates the town from the forest and the welcome from the unwelcome. Of course, the Sinshona is on the other side of that line, and whether Merrick is welcome is questionable. During the journey, Merrick is met by friends, foes, and locals who alight him to the existence of lost time, living rocks, and cursed woods. The most memorable is Raphael, a local priest who is assigned to be their guide. Raphael collects clocks, makes beautiful lights, and perhaps doesn't age. Raphael might also hold the knowledge as to why Merrick's stone statue at home has been moving. Pulley wonderfully weaves a tale of magic realism peppered with enough real characters and history to engage the reader while retelling a potentially unknown aspect of our past. This is a story of family and ancestry, for Merrick's father seems to have once taken a similar journey. Pulley's writing is beautiful, filled with lush description of the environment, fascinating characters, and magical events. I was absolutely taken by this story and eagerly read Pulley's first novel, The Watchmaker of Filigree Street, so I could spend more time with her and her writing, her incredibly detailed worlds. I highly recommend this novel for anyone who enjoys magic realism, historical fiction, or any reader looking for something unique and special. You will finish feeling like you've shared an epic journey with a close friend and now have some secrets to share. The Bedlam Stacks is available at the Oakville Public Library as an ebook through Cloud Library, in addition to Pulley's latest release, The Lost Future of Pepper Harrow.